Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Seattle Mariners and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Tim Lincecum, a Washington-born right-hander, gets the starting assignment. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a fun one to watch. This guy's been around the block for a while, but he's having a rock-solid season with a real good ERA. It'll be really interesting to see how he attacks his opposing lineup. And that'll bring in J.P. Crawford. We and we are ready for some daytime the baseball. The cook up, J.P. Crawford. First pitch on its way is put in play to the right side of the infield reined in and the off balance throw beats him at first and that's a tough play stepping in Sam Haggerty he'll get to take his first cuts here the pitch way behind that pitch it's 0 and 1 Haggerty is a guy that can really pick him up and put him down if you will he's a plus runner and really uses speed to his advantage in multiple ways on the field yeah and it works for him it works for him in a lot of ways like you said Matty hits the ball on the ground he has a potential to beat it out I can't tell you what this does for an infield or an outfield defense to be put on their toes and have to make plays That's against good. this guy. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Sam Haggerty goes down for out number two in the top half. At the plate now, Kyle Lewis. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Upton's under it. And that's the third out. One, two, three, go the Mariners. M's nothing. Angels coming up. Just settling in on MLB Network. Marco Gonzalez, the native of Colorado, gets the start on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you could throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Hey, you want to be the team on the attack, without question. In the bottom of the first, starting off with a leadoff single gets everyone in your dugout going. Shohei Otani digging in next. Now Otani with a swing and a deep drive to right. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A two-run home run off the bat of Shohei Otani. And the Angels are now out to a two-to-nothing lead. That's how the manager drew it up right there. Hold the visiting team scoreless and then grab a huge home run in the first. Into the box now, Mike Trout. Batting third, the center fielder. Mike. Ready with the first pitch. Wow. Here it comes. Hit hard to short. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Well, that's not a bad pitch right there. That's a pretty good sinker. He just happens to hook that one right into left field for a base hit. Yeah, he got the bat head out right there, Dan, and was able to get that one to left field. In now is Anthony Rendon. Oh, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Off the rocks and gone. Boy, not the way you'd like to start a game, right? First inning, you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that. Here's Albert now. Albert. Oh, tried to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And a mistake here as he's tagged out in no man's land. Batting fifth. No left fielder. 
Justin Upton. Ready now for L.A., Justin Upton. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a bunt attempt here. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Shows bunt as he gets this one down. Throw to first. He'll get Upton as he's retired trying to bunt his way on. So bases are empty here with two gone. And here comes Junior. Junior. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a deep drive to right. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot for Junior. And the lead for the Angels grows now to 5 0. talks about hitting being contagious that is exactly what we're talking about one guy tees off and the guy behind him starts to feel a little bit more confident a little bit more focused the next thing you know you've got three home runs in an inning and your entire offense is off and running into the box Jim Edmonds and he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field Crawford is there he makes the play and that'll end the inning so they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in scoring five. On now. New inning set to get underway. And into bat next, the third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. That is good. The designated hitter, Jose Marmalejo. In now the Mariners DH, Jose Marmalejos. Here comes the first pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Swing and a miss, and he's in oh, trouble now. 0 oh, and 2. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down to the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Into the box now, Evan White. As with two away, he'll oh, swing and miss at a first pitch fastball for strike one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Mariners. Bottom of the inning now, and stepping and up is the shortstop, Andrelton Simmons. The shortstop, Andrelton. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Lined hard toward right center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. The relay, but it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. Well, Matt, as we no take a look at his line here, he might not know all the specifics, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Seems to be the case here. Takes this the other way to right, and that'll get by and on through towards the wall. Simmons ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. He is in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. And they'll slap the tag on him between third and home, and it's a costly double play. Next up, the two-way Japanese import, Shohei Otani. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. 
Lewis is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Angel. Digging in now, Shed Long. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Batting eight. First offering on its way. Number eight. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. He's really on a roll right now in the mound. Back-to-back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning, and now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. Luis Torrens is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Now here's the pitch. That's what. One and, two. one and two. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. Well below the knees, laid off on the change up there. The 2 2. He is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the right pitches and doing damage with them. The numbers back that up. Five extra base hits on the stat sheet, guys. Okay, thank you, Heidi. A dive, but it's off his glove. And he will get there as the Angels are in business with a leadoff double. The third base the first pitch. When you heard the crack of the bat, you just knew that was going to get down for an extra base hit. Great way to start an inning, that's for sure. Hit the other way out toward right field. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. The first baseman, Digging five. in for his second at bat, Albert, Albert Pujols. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. The left fielder, number eight. Here's Justin Upton Justin. now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Now Upton with a swing and a deep drive to left. And the Angels just won't let up as this is going to be good for extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. You know who's the happiest man in the building right now? His starting pitcher. He's got a big old smile on his face. He knows he has a 6-1 lead here in the early going to work with. You can't let that take away your edge, though. High in the air out to center field. Lewis waits on it. And that ends the inning. One in the inning here for the Angels on a couple of hits. So stepping in, J.P. Crawford. He starts the inning, and Dan, they're down six in the early going, so what do they need to do to claw back into this thing? Well, first of all, Matt, I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six, but base runners are the key to getting back into this one. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. Now back. Left First pitch coming. Here it is. Haggard. A bouncer up the middle. Simmons is there. Throw gets him. Two down. Now at the plate, Kyle Lewis. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Last chance for the Mariners. 
Swing and a ground ball. This could do it. He's got it. Throw to first here is going to be in time as the Angels get a complete game shutout from their starter as this ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. 6-0 the final shutout score today. Los Angeles came out swinging with a huge first inning that really set them up well. Tim Lincecum gets the W on the mound. Marco Gonzalez was unable to work out of the second inning as he sat with the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching our MLB Network. First for the victorious Angels, six runs, nine hits, no errors, and they left one man on base. For the Mariners, no runs on no hits, one error, they left no runners on base.